We want to go ahead and bring in Sean Kamer. He is the Royal Oak Downtown Manager, and he is joining us live now. Let me pull you up. I know we've had a little bit of problem getting your uh, your feed up here with Zoom, and we've all been living through that. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hi. How are you? Great to be here. Have you become somewhat of a Zoom expert during all of this? Uh, yeah, I, I speak multiple languages now with Zoom and GoToMeeting and what is it, Microsoft Teams. It's we've, I, I tried them all at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so give us a little update. How are things going in the downtown area? Uh, well, uh, I think our downtown is really hanging on. I think right now we're we're definitely proving how how resilient downtown Royal Oak really is. Uh, our downtown development authority. Uh, who I work for, I'm the downtown manager, uh, has launched a number of initiatives to help downtown businesses and get people back into downtown uh, to engage with their favorite businesses, uh, all while respecting uh, the public health guidelines. Talk about some of those initiatives. I know that in the summer months, we are seeing a lot more people get out, take advantage of the nice weather. So what happened or what actually worked maybe in the summer months? Will that work in the fall? And are you having to shift gears and start to think of new programs to continue to entice people to visit downtown Royal Oak? That's a great question. Uh, given the season, uh, it's a lot safer for patrons to come down and dine outside. So one of the things that the city of Royal Oak did was they began a new permit program that allowed restaurants and retailers to expand their operations outside. They could go out onto the sidewalks, out even into the on-street parking lanes, and we're seeing that all over downtown. There's businesses like Oak City Grill, Bar Louie, uh, Luigi's, uh, Cafe Muse, they've all moved outdoor seating into the outdoor uh, the, uh, the on-street parking lanes, and we're seeing people setting up tents, uh, setting up, you know, traditional patios out there. So we're seeing a lot of people come down and enjoy uh, dining very safely. Um, so the weather's perfect for that kind of activity right now. Uh, so the question is, uh, what happens when the weather gets a little colder? Uh, so right now we're exploring options on what kinds of initiatives that we can do to help continue a lot of this uh, this activity into some of the colder months. So some of our, our DDA committees are hard at work trying to brainstorm new policies and things that might work for some businesses. Have you seen some businesses close or are they still hanging on? Uh, no doubt we've seen some close. Uh, you know, when this first began and we saw that there was going to be a shutdown, which meant limited to zero revenue for a lot of these businesses, uh, they still had rent to pay in many cases. Uh, they still had employees they needed to pay. They had to replace their inventory. So. We're dealing with a situation in which we had a lot of businesses uh, continue on with expenses that they couldn't quite shake, uh, but they didn't have the revenue coming in to, to be able to cover those. Uh, so we did lose a few businesses. Uh, you know, I'm sad to say, you know, we uh, within a few weeks uh, into the shutdown, there were some businesses that were just hanging on and the pandemic was really the last straw. Uh, you may have read about Hopcat uh, there on Fifth Street closing. We lost another uh, anchor restaurant, Town Tavern, a uh, few others too. Um, some haven't reopened uh, when restaurants were permitted to reopen the, the dine-in seating again. Um, but I think in terms of looking at it comparatively, we've fared better uh, than some of our neighbors in, in some other cities throughout the country. You know, a lot of cities all over the country are dealing with the same problem. Um, and I think some of the initiatives that the DDA had launched really helped a lot of our businesses get through this. So we saw uh, much lower numbers of closures than what we were expecting. Sean Cameron with us. He's the Royal Oak downtown manager with us on the Oakland County Megacast. And, uh, and Sean, from my notes, uh, downtown Royal Oak has recently entered a partnership with Uber and Lyft. A lot going on in the city. Can you talk about that partnership? Absolutely. Um, so we have a lot of initiatives uh, that are going on right now. It's all under the umbrella of what we're calling Rebound Royal Oak. Uh, so that included grants to businesses, that included gift cards to these businesses that we gave out to, to people throughout the region. Uh, and another thing was free parking and all of the structures. Uh, if you come down, you don't have to pay to park, you park inside a garage. Uh, and then one of the other things that we launched very recently was a, partner, a partnership with Lyft. 
uh, in which uh, if you are using ride sharing services to come into downtown Royal Oak, uh, the Royal Oak DDA will cover up to $10 of your ride coming into downtown and then your ride home if you're leaving downtown. So uh, if you did a round trip with Lyft, uh, that would we'd cover up to $20 uh, of your of your transportation. Uh, so you'd get that by using the code go to the number two R O uh, as the promotion code. If you have a Lyft account, you'd enter that in and you'd get up to you'd be able to use this code up to 10 times per month. That's a great program. I will say my favorite thing to do in Royal Oak is to go to the farmer's market, but the construction right now makes it a bit of a headache. What is the status of that? When is it going to wrap up and has it been delayed because of everything that's going on? Uh, that's actually a really good question. I'm, I'm sitting here in the epicenter of the construction right now. Uh, we are moving into our brand new city hall building as we speak. So as I'm talking to you, if you see drywall dust coming down, it's, it's this building is actually brand new. Um, so uh, we've, we've moved into the new city hall. Uh, the police station is still under construction. We're expecting that to open uh, early this fall. Uh, we have uh, the Henry Ford Medical Center that's set to open again later this fall. There was some delays uh, because of COVID. You know, construction workers weren't permitted to uh, conduct any work for a period of time there. We have our new parking structure up and running, which is very near the farmer's market. So if you are cruising around the farmer's market looking for a place to park, we have a parking structure right next to the library. You can park for free. Uh, so that, I think, helps alleviate some headaches. Can you, um, we talked a little bit about the restaurants. What about some of the businesses? Because I think one of the things that people like about Royal Oak is you have so many unique shops and places to go. Have they survived? Have some of them closed? And, or if they are open, are the hours shortened? Um, yes, we're dealing with COVID hours. So we have businesses that have transitioned to appointment only hours uh, that works for their business model. Uh, we have some amended hours for some of our other businesses. You know, they've shortened it. They close a lot earlier. Uh, they open a little bit later. They might be closed on, on Tuesdays now instead of just Mondays, which is, you know, probably one of our slower days of the week. Uh, so they've, they've definitely adapted uh, their hours uh, and their services based on, you know, the new public health guidelines, the new foot traffic patterns that we're facing. Um, you know, but in terms of their closures, I think the initiatives that the DDA has launched uh, beginning in May, uh, we started with a grant program. Uh, we gave out $1.3 million to 92 businesses uh, in downtown Royal Oak. Um, we split that up among a number of payments, uh, so they'd get it in installments, and that helped them cover things like rent, payroll, you know, other business expenses that they were facing, um, and just the amount of feedback that we've gotten from a lot of these smaller mom and pop shops on how that has helped them get through this is just remarkable. Um, I think, uh, you know, in many cases, it has helped uh, keep a lot of our businesses afloat to get through this. Uh, following the grant program, we had a gift card program. We partnered with a company called Yifty, in which uh, if you signed up for our newsletter, uh, we would send you a free $20 gift card. We gave out about 20,000 of these e-gift cards via email. And they are uh, able to be redeemed at upwards of 75 locations in downtown Royal Oak. Uh, and so we wanted to keep the focus on mom and pop shops, the local shops, these small boutiques that give Royal Oak so much of its character. Um, and I recently spoke to a business owner there over on Washington Avenue uh, runs a fairly successful, uh, you know, retail establishment there, one of our more popular foot traffic destinations. And he said that his sales were actually up 20% in July of this year over July of last year, which given the pandemic and the circumstances was just absolutely remarkable to hear. That is great news. We have about 30 seconds left with you. Anything that you want people to know about what's going on in Royal Oak and what's going on in the future? Uh, yeah, well, we just launched a promotion. It's going to uh, begin today. Uh, if you go to visitroyaloak.com and you sign up for our newsletter, we're going to be giving out an additional $1,020 uh, gift card. It's if you just sign up for our newsletter. Uh, so go to visitroyaloak.com. 
Uh, those e-gift cards can be redeemed at upwards of 75 establishments in downtown Royal Oak, from retailers to restaurants to salons. Uh, so it's, it's proven to be a really popular program. Uh, businesses love it. Uh, people coming down that wouldn't ordinarily come to downtown Royal Oak are, are spending their time, and we're introducing new faces to these shops. So it's a great program. Thank you so much. I will say uh, as soon as I get done with this Megacast, I'm going online and I am signing up.